We are live. <laughs> so this is uh, Jonathan Peterson here, uh, Senior Vice President, Broker Technology with T360. I'm with uh, Tiffany Tankerary of, of, I know I always probably mis mispronounce your last name, <laughs> Tiffany of DocuSign, a Strategic uh, Partnerships is your title. Um, and Tracy Simmons, who we've got a long history together of you know, our days at Lone Wolf and in the industry, uh, seen, uh, Chief Revenue Officer for Law 47. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, JP. And hi, everyone. Thanks so much for, for being here today. Thank you, JP. Um, Travis, I know you're out there and all the, the T360 team for, for hosting us live. It's great that we were all able to, to join together and do this today since we, we all know each other. So as you mentioned, my name is Tiffany Tanquery. You pronounced it great. <laughs> um, I'm based out of Northern California and I've been with DocuSign for about five and a half years now. So yep, my official job title, if you will, is uh, residential real estate partner manager, but I like to think of myself as a bit of an evangelist of sorts. Um, I wear a couple different hats. So started out in nationwide state and local forms licensing, um, moved into strategic partnership ownership, and more recently, um, I oversee rooms integrations and am a partner manager within the ISV um, space for our residential real estate vertical. So in my time spent at DocuSign, I've seen some incredible change and some growth over the years, but especially some innovation. So really looking forward to digging in a little bit deeper today into the world of integrations with you and Tracy. So now I'll kick it over to, to Tracy for an introduction as well. Cool, thanks, Tiffany. Yeah, so um, I've had the pleasure of working with Tiffany for a couple of years now. So that's been a great relationship. And we sure, you know, we just love working with DocuSign Rooms. And uh, Jonathan, I was thinking a little bit about it this morning and we've known each other for 19 years now. So working <laughs> uh, with that's you- so as old my, all of a sudden. <laughs> right? So working with you as my boss for a number of years and then colleague at Lone Wolf and then a colleague and of course advisor at T3. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing journey and, uh, you know, just love real estate so much and, and the ability to be working in this space for so many years now. Um, it's been a real fun, uh, fun ride and a, a great progression of technology development and seeing things sort of click together and work together well. So um, with Loft, uh, so we've been going for six years now and, and of course I've been there since the beginning. So again, like Tiffany, there's been some really exciting developments and, and always something new coming around the corner. Great. Well, one of the things we want to talk about today, and obviously the topic of our uh, conversation here is about integrations. And Tiffany, you mentioned to that, you know, at T360, we've got our T3 Tech Marketplace, which you can see at uh, t3techmarketplace.com, where we track 97 categories of technology. Now that that uh, venue is, or that uh, is is more crowdsourced so companies can put their profiles up on there we, we're tracking about 1100 companies with about a thousand products of, of out there in the market that's a lot of technology in our real estate almanac which we publish annually uh, we have our tech 500 where we curate it down to more 65 categories but that's still a lot of technology for brokers to navigate and one of the biggest topics that we see a lot of interest in is just integrations like how do I get a best if I have a best in class solution, how can I have where I'm not putting data into multiple sources so. Clearly, that's one of the benefits that uh, you two have worked out with the integration with DocuSign and law 47. But I want to talk a little bit about you know what are what are the benefits of that where what where does it operate kind of where does it fit what are the what are the things that a broker can see as far as benefits to them yeah absolutely jp um thanks for for teeing that up for us there's a lot of key benefits and feature functionality between the DocuSign rooms for real estate and the Loft 47 integration. But uh, for the sake of time today, <laughs> I'll spare you all of the, the nitty gritty details as I believe JP is gonna post a pre-recorded integration demo video after this live. So hopefully the link will either be like below or above and you can you can click on that and watch for a few minutes and, and review that and take a peek. But really the main reason that brokers and agents and even admins love the DocuSign and Loft integration is, is just because it's simple, right? It's easy to use and it eliminates any kind of duplicate data entry hassle or errors that could come from that manual transfer process. So um, just to keep it brief, you know, once a room is created in DocuSign's transaction management solution, Rooms for Real Estate, you can bring the transaction details from rooms into Loft with just a click of a button. So if information or data is changed or edited in rooms as it is, as a transaction kind of goes from beginning to end, it's no problem. You can reload the rooms as often as you like in Loft. 
And then you can reload the details for, for any particular room, really. So from there, the admins can go in and review the documentation that was in the room. And then most importantly, brokerages can review pending income for reporting and then commission management purposes as well. So it really is a one-stop shop if you're a user of, of both of the solutions. Yeah, it's really well said, Tiffany. Um, it does surprise me that there are a high number of brokerages that are still manually entering data into their deal processing, processing software. And, you know, that duplicate data entry, just getting rid of that does impact the financial bottom line of a brokerage for sure. Just not chasing around details and um, correcting potential errors. So what DocuSign Rooms and Loft do really well together is just automate that data. And I do think you know, that I, I know that that just equals a, a better bottom line. Um, and when the deal and accounting data are automatic, uh, it just means that your profit and loss and all of your other financial reporting is always up to date. So that brokers have that sort of real time, 100% correct, uh, accurate data to measure and also make business decisions with. Right. And why now? What 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 prompted this? What is there? Is there demand in the in the market? Do you see? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think there's just demand for more automation. Um, and I think that integrations like the integration as a word gets a little bit overused in the industry, I think. For sure. <laughs> so not all integrations are sort of created equally. Um, I think there's demand for, for stronger integrations and, uh, you know, just, just to benefit the entire industry and, and have products playing a little bit more nicely together, uh, you know, commercial, using commercialized uh, products that are out there and, you know, highly developed products like DocuSign and Loft, uh, it just makes sense, you know, that an integration should be in place, it should work well, it should be easy to use and uh, everyone should just be able to get on with their day. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'll, I'll piggyback onto that JPA. I like Tracy's point of, of more automation. Um, we, we kind of align with that, that theory as well. Real estate professionals, they really just wanna have the ability to complete an entire deal online digitally from lead to close. Um, so a true end-to-end -end digital experience in DocuSign's working with key strategic partners like Loft um, to really get us there as an industry. DocuSign's position in the market as a digital agreement platform, I think is gonna play a big role in the world of real estate software and technology as we continue to expand our partner ecosystem for the, the broader real estate um, integration space, if you will, not to, not to overuse the word integration. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that there's a there's kind of two schools of thought and one is the, you know, the companies that say they offer an end to end solution from beginning to close, you know, end to close. Um, that's been kind of the, the, the dream for years of everyone trying to do that. But I think the reality is more best in class solutions that have a tighter integration. I think integration to Tracy's point gets thrown around a lot. In fact, I've, I've had companies say we do an integration and when you really look, it's this SSO, it's like a single sign on integration. That's not really an integration. What you really are talking about is is data so that you're not having to put data into all these different silos. You're actually having that data flow more smoothly. So sure. I think best in class solution with a tighter integration is really where I see the puck going for in the in the future. Yeah, how do we how do we save people time and energy and how do we make the, the workflow more efficient and how do we help people do more deals faster, really? Yeah. Um, so totally for sure. Better. Yeah, for sure. So then crystal ball question for you. <laughs> for for both of you, I'll I'll pose it is like where do you see things going in the future? I mean, you've got this integration. I think this is a good partnership. I think there's a lot of people that'll be very excited about this, but where what, what would be next? What where where are things going? Where do you, as you see them? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for, for us, uh, Tracy and myself for, for DocuSign and for, for Loft, but for the, the industry as a whole, I think there will be more integrations between solutions in the years to come. It's, it's just a given, but I think they'll be enhanced to your point. They'll, they'll be tighter, right? So bi-directional data flow will, will be a given. And then all the key product features that have been requested in this post-pandemic era, you know, for DocuSign and, and for other companies as well, those are going to come to fruition as product roadmaps are completed and, and tackled um, just with, with time, right? So with that being said, no matter which way the real estate market shifts, I know we're all kind of on edge, like what, what's going to happen here? Um, I think folks, they want their solutions integrated where people are transacting, 
where people are doing business and where, where deals are being closed. And that's certainly on the DocuSign digital agreement platform, utilizing solutions like e-signature, the bread and butter that everybody knows and loves, and then rooms for, for real estate as well. So I think it's just, it's important to integrate where your customers already are in order to give them the best possible experience. And as we say, say here at DocuSign, you know, keep, keep the agents at the center of the transaction. And I think that more widely applies to everyone, which is just keeping the center, the, the customer, if you will, at the center of your solutions and of, of all decision making and just you know, putting the customer's needs first. And in this case, that would be, you know, real estate professionals. Yeah, what about you, I definitely agree. I think that, you know, <laughs> one of the things that Loft is, is currently tackling um, to sort of put an exclamation point on these types of integrations where the data is just flowing through is the ability for brokerages to deliver faster agent payouts. That's been a bit of a challenge in the industry uh, as, as technology and security changes from EFT type uploads or bank notch a file format uploads that are a little less secure. Now there's third party companies that are assisting with payouts, but oftentimes that comes with delay and money movement. So we're working on to deliver faster agent payouts and we'll have something exciting happening in October of this year. Um, we're also, again, to give that end-to-end -end experience uh, more fluid uh, activity basically is automating franchise reporting. So we have a lot of Remax brokerages in common um, between DocuSign Rooms and Law 47. So we're enhancing our, our Remax uh, brokerage client reporting as well. So those are just some things that we're trying to deliver to, again, keep, keep that data flow really smooth. That's great. Well, as I see it that, you know, yes, the market, to your point, Tiffany, the market is, is in this place now where it's shifting a little bit. I, I, I see it more as a real slowdown. It's not 2008 all over again. I think people are panicking. Some people are panicking that, oh, my God, it's that again. And I don't, I don't see that. What I do see is the brokers who are very thoughtful about what they're doing are actually stopping and paying attention to their back office. So I think that's where, you know, the the technology, their tech stack, you know, figure out what maybe didn't work when the business was so crazy that there were 40 offers on a home. They're now looking at like, how can we make improvements? And I think things like integrations, there's more of a demand on that because the reality is the little minor, you know, improvements here and there can exponentially, it's, you know, save them money, save them time, make things more efficient. So... No, I think this is, it's a great partnership. Really excited to hear that this is happening and we're glad you, both of you could jump on a call and discuss it a little bit. And to, uh, to Tiffany's earlier point, we will have a link in the, in the comments section below that has uh, a little bit about the integration and how to contact both Loft and, and DocuSign, but thank you guys. Thank you, Jonathan. Absolutely. Right. Thank you both. It was great to see you today. Yeah. Great, great hanging out. Too. All right.